The question arises during this unholy season the Muslims are celebrating or have just finished celebrating Ramanda, how they can go back and fulfill their lust of their flesh after they've had their fastings, which is a form of holiness, some kind of idolatry, worshiping a god that does not exist. Muslims are Antichrist. It is a religion of witchcraft and violence. Though they once knew God, even the Godhead, but they did not want to retain God, the Godhead, the knowledge of it. So God gave them over to a reprobate mind to become Muslims and worship devils. The same goes for those who have fallen back into perdition that were once saved, that once had knowledge of salvation, had tasted of the good word of God, but became vain. They were offended at the hard sayings of Christ and they fell away no longer following Christ, but following their lust and fulfilling their lust of their flesh. And there is no place for repentance for them if they should try to return because they're like Esau. The lesson is Esau despised correction and he despised his birthright, trading it for flesh, something to eat to fulfill his flesh. And after a great amount of time, after he realized what he had done, he sought a place for repentance. Didn't find one. And that's where a lot of people are today. They cannot find it. And you know why? Because God has rejected them. God does not always strive with man. to the point of where the man thinks God is still there. If we sin willfully, there is no sacrifice for sins, but a fearful looking for of judgment and fiery indignation. <laughs>